What to expect when you were expecting wasn't what you expected. Oh, Parents Guide to Flawed Children. Is that what's going on here? Being a parent is challenging. Being a parent to a child that is less than perfect is even more so. It can be stressful and embarrassing to see a child fall short, especially compared to the lovely children that the neighbors have. It is difficult to come to terms with the fact that a child will never be the quarterback or the prom queen. And this book helps parents work through these struggles. Techniques such as how to keep the child out of view and how to keep them obedient will surely alleviate the unfair amount of stress placed upon the parents in this situation. Good luck and remember, you can always try for another one, one that might actually meet your expectations. Yeah. Can I take a bath? Nope, can't turn water on. That's cool. Wow. That's really neat. That's a cool effect. Is it because I turned the water on that that happened? Sparkle, sparkle shampoo. The whole thing is coming down now. Oh, that's neat. Wish I could make real water wallpaper do that. Whoa. I think little things are kind of cool. Games. Soma Cell, Sleep Aid. His and hers. I got a trophy for his and hers. Uh, I can't read it because it's too dark here. New extra strength formula sleep aid. I gotta get to bed soon, speaking of. Yeah, I guess this should be the last video. This is like a nice mystery game. Like, I'm curious what's going on here. Take one tablet by uh, can't read the rest by something. Quantity thirty refills two. <laughs> Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same thing. Exact same object, I'm sure. Okay, we can't turn water on in this game. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Puffy eye reducer. Uh, beauty projects. So exhausting. Perfect. Perfect um, cologne or something. I don't know what this stuff is. Bubble bath stuff. There's not, not much written on it. Real man shave cream. This 
scale. Ah, it's a bedroom. We got handcuffs. We can. <sighs> Disturbing, I guess. I mean, that could hang up by themselves, no, but with the photos, doesn't look good. You're a mother now. That's it, just a mom. <laughs> just a, that's your mother now, that's it, just a mom. Wonderful, thank you so much. Um, can I look at the back? I want to look at the back of it. Say goodbye to those halcyon days of fun and independence. I gotta look at halcyon. Go on our date nights and fancy clothes. Why? Because you are a mom now. Your life should now belong exclusively to your child. How wonderful that is. All your me energy will now go to your little me. So that they can be the best. You can live vicariously through your child. So vicariously, in fact. That it becomes... Oh... <laughs> that becomes your only source of fulfillment no what's this is there anything written on this it's a tissue box I think pregnancy There's just more light in here. Okay. Mom and baby week by week. Yeah. Okay, I think there's no way I can read this. Follow along your nine month adventure and hosting another human. This book explains step by step how the baby will nay will you wow your wow your body as a resource. Use your body as a resource and a tool to grow itself. Learn about how... Oh, it's too hard to read. Learn about how your hormones, will, your hormones will change, causing you to vomit, or how food allergies may develop. Track week by week how your baby is getting bigger and bigger, just like you, and your stretch marks. This book even includes special section a special section that goes over the birthing process I literally had to put my face right next to the screen to read this a miracle that may cause you all sorts of complications this is inside your body right now a picture of a fetus oh what a pain can I, can I stand in like a brighter area oh. Turn this damn light on, please. Yes. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> now I can see what this is. Uh, oh, it's chocolates, right? Life is like a box of chocolates. Okay. Yellow Wallpaper and Other Shorter Stories by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I wonder if this is a real book. Born in 1880. Ooh. Charlotte Perkins Gilman was an American writer who works are considered classics with the yellow wallpaper being her most famous in motherhood. Charlotte was ill with a self-described brain disease, quote-unquote, for which she was prescribed a regimen of live a domestic life as possible. 
Live a domestic life as possible. I'm probably supposed to say as domestic a life as possible. Have your child with you all the time. Lie down an hour after each meal. But it doesn't have the L. Mia. <laughs> lie down after each meal. Mia. But <laughs> lie down after each Mia. Have but two hours intellectual life a day. And never touch pen, brush, or pencil as long as you live. Charlotte committed suicide in 1935. Sheesh. Wonderful. The book is upside down, isn't it? Yeah, look, because this is right side up. And then now it's going to be... There we go. I had to turn it upside down to read it. Yellow Wallpiper. Oh, this just looks like some reading. So, of course, I said no more on that score, and we went to sleep. Before long, he thought I was asleep. I'd love to read this, but uh, it's too much work. Uh, a lot of the words are blurry. I think it's purposeful. Like, some of it you can read, but, yeah, it's, I can't read it. So, I would have read it, but um, I'm, cur I'm very curious about what it says. I wonder if it's a real book. We can find it somewhere and read it. Another skill. I got skills everywhere. I heard about his and hers. Is any that's her bathroom? Is this his bathroom? Nope, no bathroom. It's a closet. Whoa. Put a volume up. For myself at least. Whoa. Something there. The child's drawings on the walls. It looks like a woman trying to force someone into bed. Did I try to force him into bed? My son or something? There's a pen there. It's a marker, I think. He were in the wall with this. Another book? Cell Biology. Third edition. Third edition Cell Biology. Uh, Kulina Text and Publishing Group. Uh, there, yeah, it won't be too hard to read that. Learn about the components of cells and how cells work. This case uses the most cutting edge research to explain the details of organelles, DNA, and other cell processing. This text is a perfect starting point for those who want to change the world of science and medicine. Huh, exciting. Okay, that's kind of basic. Okay, we're gonna be able to read this. Rosalind Franklin was a prominent female scientist who helped discover the structure of DNA. Intimidating. Sadly, she died young and without a family, but not without great achievements. Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't say that about a man, I'm sure. The life of Rosalind Franklin, a female and a scientist. Amazing. I have to say it like that, right? Okay, so I think we're doing pretty well here. Oh, there's a baby doll, just like the one that was in the in the microwave. There's another little guy, like the one downstairs. Uh, I don't know if it's worth looking at him. It's, yeah, too much work <laughs> to get this turned around. Oh, what does it say on his shirt? Pino, does it? Like Pinocchio, he's Pino, he's Pino, Pino, short for Pinocchio. 
He's a liar. That's why his... That's why his nose is so big. Can see the lies. Is that part of this analogy? Lies? Lies. Hear no evil. See no evil. It's like, it reminds me of a museum or something. It's kind of interesting. It's like someone's arranged all this for us to read and see. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Right. Something about that poem. I shouldn't reread it, but I think it's like a, a le level of irony to it. Sort of like the character is lying, saying they've taken the less traveled road, but in truth. Both roads were a bit well traveled. Well, there's just two more rooms to look at. Yeah. With the volume up, uh, <laughs> the sound of the doors opening is, feels a bit more violent. <laughs> Yikes, <laughs> the trophy earned. <laughs> That's not loud, too. Another Pinocchio. Pino. He's little Pino. <clears throat> we have two kids, maybe. Was one of them different? Or both different? The crayons? One of them's a math whiz or something. Yikes. DS squared equals negative C to the second power times D times T to the second power plus D. Yeah, I don't know if this is real math. Probably is. For all I know. <laughs> uh, I, I consider myself somewhat good at math, but I never learned like calculus or anything like that. This looks interesting. Uh, enter your universe. Uh, I'd like to be able to read stuff like this, but I can't. And now we have a nice little house drawn with on graph paper, house and sun. How come you can read it? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You should, this should not be. You shouldn't be able to like see perfectly the, um, the image on the other side, you know? There's no way that would be real. Maybe that's like an effect, uh, it's an artistic choice. You always say everything's an artistic choice in a game, no matter how ridiculous it is. Close that shade. Okay. That I can do. So maybe I have to close the shade. Um. Uh. Your, uh, real treat. Quote, unquote. With quotation marks. That's funny. It's, a, it's in reverse, it's, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's in reverse. I don't have to look in the mirror to be able to read that. That's weird. Go ask Alice. I'm supposed to look in the mirror or something. Get a real treat. But this one, yeah, this one's also a mirror image. But some of the other stuff wasn't a mirror image, right? M mourned for it. Ooh. Longed for it. Knelt for it. MLK? Martin Luther King? Mm. She, she mourned for it because it, they took it away and she was sad. She longed for it because she wanted it but she couldn't have it. And then she knelt for it because she prayed she could have it. I don't know. I'm confused. And there's Christian stuff. Afternoon of a fawn. Yeah. Hey, Aurelio, how's it going? 
I'm, uh, I'm making a video cool. right now. How's it going? I'm just getting back from a long Memorial Day of work. Ah. Uh. Did you relax today? Um. Yeah, I guess so. That's nice. Were you able to get your laundry done? Um, no, I decided to do it tomorrow. How oh, cool, you have tomorrow? No, but I'll, I'll do it oh, after okay, work. Right, cool. Yeah, I forget because you get off normal times, I get off crazy hours. Yeah. So by the time I'm off, the laundry is way close. Mm. <sighs> Okay, I should go to bed soon. I'm gonna save the video clip. My computer went off at some point.